Our next guest, who has become well known for asking newsmakers all the hard hitting questions every night <laughs> on CNN. Now he has written his second memoir tackling a major issue in our country racism. Yeah, the book is called This is the Fire What I Say to My Friends About Racism. It was released yesterday. Look, got a big smile on his face. I see you out of the corner of my eye. Look at him. Don Lemon, old friend. My man, it is good to see you. I cannot believe I'm, I'm inviting you and welcoming you as a guest on this show, but it's, it's been a long time, my man. How you doing? It's been a long time since the old days when people would call me TJ and you Don. And yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, but but since you start cussing people really out on TV, the they, don't, they don't make that mistake anymore. They don't. Nobody gets me mixed up with you anymore, man. <laughs> but the book, I have it in my hand here. You? This is oh, the fire. What I say to my friends about racism. Don, are you saying different things? How are the conversations different between your black friends and your white friends when you're having these conversations? Well, I mean, a lot of the conversations with my black friends are, well, you, we know that it's, there's a mutual understanding, TJ, because it's a lived and a shared experience. But with white friends, they honestly, many of them don't know. Some of them do, but many of them don't know. And after uh, the George Floyd situation happened, uh, as I'm sure you have, and a lot of people of color around the country, had a lot of people, quite honestly, white people calling them saying, how do I deal with this? How do I talk about it? I don't have the tools or the vocabulary to be able to even have a conversation with my child. And I'd like to teach my child about uh, systemic racism or about unconscious bias and about all these things. And I would actually like to educate myself. What do I do? And after answering a lot of emails and texts and phone calls, I decided to, to put it, that information in a book. And that's why it's, what do I say to my friends about racism? Because we all need a friend to be able to talk to these issues about. Yeah, and, it, and it's been almost one year since the death of George Floyd. And obviously, you mentioned him in your book. This was part of the catalyst for you writing this book. Do you think that things have changed when it comes to how we regard racism, racism how we treat racism, how we treat each other? I think, Amy, I think that's yet, that's TBD. It's to be determined. I think initially there were, you know, there was a, a big movement to try to have some understanding and some empathy. Um, and actually there was a will uh, to change. Listen, we have to put ourselves back in that time. We're still in quarantine somewhat, but we were in the middle of a deadly pandemic and everybody was at home um, with nowhere to go. We couldn't leave our homes and no one, people didn't know, quite frankly, many people didn't know where their next meal was coming from, if they were going to survive this, if they were going to catch it, if they were going to see their loved ones. We were all vulnerable and open. And now that things are somewhat starting to return to normal, um, I don't see an openness and a willingness to deal with these things now. Don, what responsibility do you feel for having to be a part of and even leading that um, that conversation you talk about? Because look, man, to be honest, you and I have had these conversations a long time. And there's a lack of diversity still and challenges in a bunch of newsrooms, and I'm sure including yours and mine. On air is one thing, behind the scenes is another. But that weight of being the black guy, I have to yeah. talk about the black stuff. And right. oftentimes it feels exhausting and it feels weighty, but it also feels like you have a responsibility. Do you still feel like that now that you, Absolutely. for your organization, you, you have to be the black guy? But not just for my organization. I mean, you hit the nail on the head, and I really appreciate your candor in, in, in that question. Um, it's not just in the organization. Look, in primetime, I'm the only African-American in primetime on cable, right? And there aren't many people who look like you and I across the landscape uh, and, and beyond just broadcast uh, journalism. And so it's, uh, yeah, I feel a, a responsibility. And because, and I also feel, TJ, and I'm sure that you feel this as well, if I don't talk about it, if I don't broach these issues, if I don't have enough courage to do it, then who is going to do it? That's, that is part of the reason, it's not the only reason that we're here, but diversity is a legitimate part of, should be a legitimate part of a hiring practice for any company. So I have a, a perspective on, on these issues um, that, that's lived and it is important. Yeah, and, and it is a beautifully written book and I know you dedicated an essay to your nephew talking about the next generation and what's to come and what we can all learn. So it is beautiful. We want to tell everyone that this is the fire. What I say to my friends about racism. It's available wherever books are sold. Don Lemon, thank you. You can come back, you know, even though you're on that other network. We'll let you come back. So friend good to show. see both of you friends. I, I don't want to just see you in the park when you're out running and jogging. <laughs> Don't just call me every once in a while or on TV and television. Pick up the uh, phone. You have to but, Don, I can't wait till I can see you there at the finish line <laughs> next time we run a race together.
Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you, guys. I, I really appreciate it. I won't be at the Hi, Dr. Jen. Oh, yeah. Hi, Don. <laughs> Anybody else want to say hi to Don? Is everybody? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.